Hi church, hope you're well. It's so good to be with you today. Welcome to Audacious Devotions. My name is Rachel and I'm part of our Central Manchester location. I'm so excited to share with you a verse today that's spoken to me season after season, so I really hope it's an encouragement as well for you. Today's key verse is from 1 Kings chapter 18 and it's verse 44, which says in the NIV translation, the seventh time the servant reported a small cloud rising from the sea. This is one of my favourite Bible stories and features Elijah, who's a prophet committed to God, um, but who also has some really dramatic moments of doubt, fear and loneliness in his life, um, which is something that I can definitely identify with, especially given the last couple of years with COVID and the multiple lockdowns. And I love that the Bible is peppered with people like Elijah, who are sold out for God and living for the purpose that he's placed on their lives, but are also completely authentic in their reaction to life. Um, and I feel like it's another way that the Bible is just so relevant for us today um, as the living, breathing word of God. So to get into today's verse, the context is that Elijah is told to go to Ahab, who's the current king of Israel. Um, he's married to a woman named Jezebel, who features quite a lot in some of these chapters. Um, she's quite crazy, to be honest, um, and she really hates Elijah. Um, and Elijah's to tell Ahab that rain is coming, which is a pretty audacious statement, given that there's been a severe famine in the land for a number of years, the Bible says. And previous to our current verse for today, we see a solo Elijah on his own challenging 450 false prophets of Baal to a contest to, sh to show whose God is the real God. So today's verse, uh, verse 44, sits so just after Elijah has seen God do an amazing miracle um, and show his power by burning um, Elijah's altar down to the ground after it was absolutely doused with water, which again was quite a bold statement from Elijah um, given the ongoing famine. So we find Elijah at the top of Mount Carmel and he tells his servant to go and look out to sea and watch for God's promise, which is a rain cloud. Six times, six, the servant went, looked out and saw absolutely nothing. And God must have seemed really silent and maybe even absent to Elijah and the servant at those moments. And I wonder if both of them felt like quitting. And if you've been in Audacious for a little while, you probably have heard us talk about just taking the next step, doing the next little thing, pressing into God a little bit more, or making another little request for what you're hoping and praying for in your life. And it's often in those times of heartbreak where we feel like quitting, but I really believe um, and I hope this verse is an encouragement that all of heaven in those moments is really willing us to stay the course and to go again, um, waiting for our miracle. So then we read our verse, key verse for today, verse 44. But then a cloud, a small cloud appears and Elijah tells the servant to run and report the coming rain to Ahab. So the miracle is in motion and the servant can hardly move fast enough. And we read later in verse 46 that Elijah himself also, with great strength from God, the Bible says, tucked his cloak into his belt and ran all the way back. And I love this and I believe it can really be an encouragement for us today, church. But perhaps also a challenge. Are you ready to run when you see the cloud on the horizon that you've been praying for and waiting for? And when you see your miracle finally get into motion? Are you prepared for what God is about to do, what he's got in store for you? So three things I love about today's verse. Number one, even in seasons where we feel solo and outnumbered, we're never as alone as we feel and God is always with us. Number two, God can use a really small thing um, to create a significant miracle. The small cloud that we read about in today's verse developed into heavy rain that nearly stopped Elijah and the servant in their tracks. Um, but it was what God had promised and it was what the land really, really needed as well at that point in time. 
And number three, we have to have faith to go again, believing that what God's promised will appear on our horizons at the right time. Um, because when it does, we can really trust um, that a miracle is in motion for us. So thanks so much for listening. We're believing for breakthrough moments for you as you continue to go again and wait to see your miracle in motion. I look forward to seeing you in the chats on Sunday online or at one of our campuses. Have a great day.